Let's see how to use C++ Builder to create a project from existing C code. This is what you'll need to do when you import the sample C code that I supply in the code archive. Now, as before, I need to start a new project. So I select File, New, uh, Other, and make sure that Console Application is selected and click OK. But this time I'm going to specify the project source. So that's this option here. So I've made sure that C, of course, is selected as the source type. So I select project source so I can now browse to find the main file of my C program. And I select the file main.c, click open, Click OK back in the new console application dialog. And now there's my source code. My project is all ready to run. So I can just add a breakpoint here right at the end, run it in the debugger. It builds and up pops the console window showing the output from my program. So you can see importing a simple one file C program like this really couldn't be easier. But if your project contains more than one source file, there's another step you'll need to take. So here I'm creating a new console application project, just as I did in the previous example. And I've arrived at the stage where I'm prompted to specify the project source. So I browse to find the source. But this time you can see that I've got three C files that all form part of this particular project. So I'm just going to select main.c, that's the main, the entry point, the main file for my program, and click OK. And I'll discard the previous project. And so it's imported this into my new project. But uh, I've only got this one file here in the project manager. You can see if I expand these, only my main file has been imported all the way down here and I want the other files as well. So to import the remaining files, I just right click the project node and I can select add, browse to the directory containing the files that I want to import. Now I'll switch the filter here to any files which shows all my files. And you can see I've got uh, 3.c, C source code files and two header files, .h. And I might as well have all of those in my project. So I'm going to select the ones I want. I've already got main. So let me have these other C and header files. Click open. They're added here uh, to the project. You can see in the project manager window. And I'm now ready to build and run my program. So I can just go to the project menu and build it. And here's my program, and I can interact with it as necessary. So that's the simple way to import multiple file programs into C++ Builder. There are, of course, many, many more features of C++ Builder that I haven't been able to cover in these short lessons. And you can find lots more help uh, on the program by going to the C++ Builder website also using, of course, the help menu items in C++ Builder itself. One page that you might want to look at are the, uh, is the page containing the videos online, and there are many, many different tutorials that will help you find out how to use C++ Builder for all sorts of different uh, project types and find out all the features that you need to know to use it effectively. But for now, even after just watching this short video, you already know enough about C++ Builder to use it with the sample projects in the rest of this course.